Films or stories with excellent and captivating storyline can easily become viral. Viewers and readers will start sharing it. They can't help themselves but just talk about it. How about you? Do you share something that excites you? Hi, K.O. Devon here and welcome to another episode of Week at a Glance, where we dive into a thoughtful summary of this week's Bible study guide. And if you don't have a copy of the study guide, then be sure to check the link below. In this episode, we will talk about sharing the transforming power of God's Word. I remember discovering for the first time that the Adventist Church in Australia was making a movie on Adventist history. I was so excited that I started telling others about it, although the production of the film was still in its infancy. The film was released two years later with the title, guess what? Tell the World! And I was so excited to see such an exceptional high-budget Adventist film. And even to this day, I'm still sharing this film. The story of the Bible and its transformative power has been shared throughout centuries. And at the center of this amazing book is Jesus, its ultimate purpose to reveal Jesus. How has this book impacted your life? Here are the important points to remember for today's episode. The first one is studying the Word. Throughout history, you see the hand of God taking the initiative to communicate His plan of salvation to us, starting with the patriarchs, the prophets, and then ultimately through Jesus Christ. And aside from these people, God has also employed His preserved Word or the Bible to convey His message to us. The Bible is a record of God's acts in history, a transcript of the life and also ministry of Jesus. Remember that you and I are witnesses for Jesus, and the Bible is the source of our witnessing. It is here that you get to know about Jesus, and it is also here that you find the clearest and the fullest revelation of Jesus. And through your study of the Bible, and by constantly laying your eyes on Jesus, God is able to transform you. Throughout the Bible, God used symbols to make things easier for us to understand what the Bible is and also its message. There are several symbols that are used to express the primary functions of God's Word. A lamp to light our path, like fire and hammer that consumes and smashes hard hearts to pieces. Bread that is essential to life. It also, of course, satisfies the hunger of the soul and like a seed. This one right here is actually my personal favorite. God's word, like the seed, is life-giving. Sometimes it grows fast and at times it grows very slow. But silently, the seed is growing. And when the time is right, it will produce a new life, a transformed life. What is your personal favorite symbol of the Bible? A lamp, fire, hammer, seed, bread, or maybe another symbol that you find in the Bible. Please let me know in the comments section below. I would love to hear from you guys. I believe it will be interesting to see all the different reasons and also all the different symbols. The Bible is not like an IKEA manual on how to assemble your life, although we find helpful guidelines and also instructions in it. It is much more than that. It is a life-changing book. It has the power to transform your life and not just assemble it. Now, let's move on to the next point to see how this actually happens. Point number two is applying the Word. Just like a little seed, the Word of God grows within you. The life in that seed starts to germinate. The inspired Word of God contains life-giving principles. And when the Christ-centered teachings of Scripture are accepted by faith, your life will be transformed. Transformation will happen. To appreciate the divine force behind the transforming power of God's written word, you need to go back thousands of years ago when God created the earth. This world came into existence through the power of God's word. And that same power to create and recreate is also in the written word of God. Another major player in this transformation process is the Holy Spirit. He was present during creation. He inspired the Bible writers. And when you read and accept the life-changing teachings of the Bible, that same Holy Spirit has the transforming power to change your life. Now, take steps to apply God's Word in your life as you read the Bible. Start by maybe asking, what is God saying to me today? Or do I need to make a change? Do I need to take action? It is by faith that you accept the principles and promises of the Bible. It is also by faith that you comprehend the character of the God who loves and cares for you. However, it is lack of faith in God's ability to do what He has promised in His Word that limits the fulfillment of God's promises in your life. Your interaction with God and His Word will lead you to become a better witness for Him. 
Now, this brings us to our last point, and that is sharing the word. It is a natural tendency to start sharing something that has a dramatic impact in your life. If God's word has done that to you, then see to it that the lives of others will also be impressed by its beauty. In sharing God's word, there are a few important reminders to take note of. First, Jesus must be the focus. The entire Bible centers on Jesus. The Old Testament looks forward to Jesus. The New Testament is a fulfillment and at the same time looks back to Jesus. Second, our role is to share the beautiful promises and teachings of the Bible. The Holy Spirit will do the conversion. And third, keep these biblical principles in mind. The content is very important, what you say. But aside from that one, the manner is also very important, how you say it. And last, the timing, when to say it. And even when the Holy Spirit moves you to share, there are times when you feel reluctant to share God's Word. In moments like this, please remember that the Holy Spirit who has inspired you to share has already prepared the hearts of others to receive your message. And just like sharing a film or a story or even just some part of it to friends or even strangers, God invites you to share the wonderful story and truths of the Bible. In summary, here are the different points that we talked about on the transforming power of God's Word. Studying the Word, applying the Word, and sharing the Word. If you find this episode helpful, then please share it with a friend. Spread God's Word and change lives one message at a time. And if you would like to know more about how the Holy Spirit can make you limitless, then click on this video right here. Share God's Word. Be a witness for God. This is again K.O. Devon for Week at a Glance. I'll see you again next week.